Hey everybody, it's springtime. We're gonna bring you the six venomous snakes of Florida. No one has. Hey everybody, so thanks for coming back. My name is Matt. I'm Jen. And we're at the Valerie Theater right here in the middle of Inverness. Yes, we are. It's springtime, and I know what, you just painted the house. Yes. Everybody's out in their yard getting their yards going now that the, the winter's gone for sure and it's yeah. springtime. Mm -hmm. But that actually also means that snakes are out and about. And in Florida, did you know this? We have 46 different varieties of snakes in the state. Nice. 46. But only six of them are poisonous. So we only really have to know six snakes to, to identify. Six too many. And just, to, I'm gonna start this off by giving you some good news. Two of the six snakes don't live here in sweet Citrus County. They live up in North Florida and one of them, the first one I'll tell you, it lives in Apalachicola. Here's a picture, it's called the Copperhead. And it's a pit viper like the rest of them, but it only lives in one little part of the panhandle. So unless you're there, you don't have to know what that snake is. So Yeah, but you could have somebody pick some up and bring them somewhere else. Bring it to your house? Oh. I, I don't think so. They, say they do not exist here in Citrus County, according to the University of Florida. And the other venomous snake that doesn't live here in Citrus County is called the timber rattlesnake. And actually three of the six venomous snakes of Florida are in fact rattlesnakes. So at least three of them will warn you when you're near them. But the timber rattlesnake lives in North Florida, Copperhead and Apalachicola. So we only have to worry about four venomous snakes here in Citrus County. Oh, I and feel better now. So what's the first one? What's the first one? I'm going to give it to you that we really should be looking out for. Are we looking at the pygmy pygmy rattlesnake? The little pygmy rattlesnake. Uh, they have thick bodies and the pygmy has a rusty red stripe similar to the timber rattlesnake and more of a row of red dots going down its back. All right, here's this here's the picture. You notice they got looks more like red dots being separated by those blotches, but it's similar to the timber rattlesnake. The last of the three rattlesnakes, we talked about timber rattlesnake, pygmy rattlesnake, is, you've heard of this, the mm -hmm. Eastern Diamondback mm -hmm. Rattlesnake. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake looks like it has a diamond pattern going down its back, but you're gonna know it because it's rattling its rattle at you to yeah. stay back. And my number one rule of snakes is to not touch any snake I find in the wild. And that's yeah. how I've never been bitten by a snake. Yeah. Probably yeah, you too, yeah, right? Too. And I, I think a lot of them want to stay away from us too. Absolutely. They don't want any trouble. And that's mm -hmm. why like they'll say, take a stick and run, you know, when you're mm -hmm. good, before you pry those old boards in your backyard up, yeah. hit them with the stick, because they'll get out of there and, and go, yeah. you know. I'm glad, I'm glad we're doing this after I painted the house, Matt. So, okay, so the, now, the, we did the rattlesnakes. Now yeah. you live on Lake Henderson. Yeah. And. This next snake is the one you do have to worry That's about. That's the water moccasin. I've seen them before. They are ugly. Didn't Good you say though. you saw one climbing up a tree trying yes, to get yes, it to a bird's yes, nest? Yes, 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 those squirrels, yes. So the, the cotton mouth, you recognize why they call it the cotton mouth? When mm -hmm. it opens its mouth, the last thing it does before it starts striking, it will show you its mouth and it's pure white. Yes. The water moccasins, what's interesting about them is that there's a banded water snake that mm -hmm. looks a looks little bit a lot like, like it. when they're young because yes. they change over time. The mm -hmm. black, kind of black, big, thick water I treat them both as if they were a cotton mouth. Stay away. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll, I think we'll, they're a little more aggressive. Like rattlesnakes and stuff don't want any trouble. Mm -hmm. I think the water yeah. moccasin might They actually will go reach out and try to get okay. you. And so okay. that's the water moccasin. And the last one, this is the most important one, is the feared coral snake. That one is very easy to define, I think. I think so too. There are two snakes that try to emulate it smartly. The, the scarlet king snake, and then they just call it the scarlet snake. Mm -hmm. But they look very different than the coral snake. I, what, you know what kills me? The coral snake, they'll say, red on yellow, Kill kill fellow, or friendly fellow. Yeah, I, I don't know, I can I'm never. Sit there during yes, I'm runs. gonna be dying <laughs> by, while I'm trying to figure the kill a fellow or friendly jack or what. So <laughs> with a coral snake, I took, here's the picture. Notice it has, look, I like to call the yellow bands like wedding bands, little well-defined gold bands. And they you. separate the black and red bands. Black and red bands never touch each other on a coral snake. And that's the main okay. thing right. to remember. The gold bands, you see right here, they separate the black and reds all the way down. They're really more brightly colored. The yep. coral snake says, don't touch me. And here's the thing, the, the takeaway for the coral snakes. Some people get bit by a coral snake and they don't realize that they've been bit. And because the, the way they more gnaw on you, they don't have fangs, they kind of gnaw and inject. Hmm. And what happens is people don't think they got bit and they 
don't go to the hospital, and then later they're in big, big trouble. Yeah. If you think you've been bitten by a coral snake or any of these venomous snakes, you just go straight to the hospital. Matter of fact, if it were me while Anna's yes. driving me to the yes. hospital, I would be on 911 telling them I've been bitten by a water moccasin yes. or a coral the snake. the worst thing possible. So that they're Get ready, ready for me to come in. Because And the thing is, is yeah, because the, they have to administer the antivenom fast. Yes. Even it's, if you're bit by a black racer. <laughs> at least <laughs> grab that snake. Yeah, kill the snake and bring it in because yes. they'll tell you if you can. But if you're not sure, they'll get to the bottom. You just don't want to have that venom in See, you. See, I'm one of those kill it with a shovel and then uh, define what and it is. And I don't know if that's <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter, politically people. correct, but the water <laughs> moccasins, I'll instantly get rid of them, allegedly get rid of that. Yes. But listen, the rocks, the old logs, the debris in your backyard, snake. The, Keep uh, your yards clean, folks. Yeah, and this is the time of year we're going to encounter them. Mm -hmm. So just... Watch out while you're putting your new mulch in or you're mm -hmm. painting your house when you shake those bushes out. And be careful out there because it's springtime. It's it the is. greatest time of the year. And it's also the greatest time of the year for our snakes because yes. they're coming and out. And they want to see the sun just like we do. So listen, everyone, thanks for watching our show. Thanks for continuing to support us. We got 6,000 views last week and over 10,000 people saw our show. And That's so awesome. every week we're adding more and more people to our Fun in the Sun Coast family. So thanks for watching. Thank you. And we'll see you next week on Fun, Fun in the, the Sun Coast. Coast. Bye.